Hey everyone, this is Jen and you're watching BPD Woman and hello, <laughs> here's BPD Woman's dog. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> um, happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to do a recap um, here of some videos that I did last year and I'm going to put all the links here in the descriptions up top. So uh, watch as they come across the screen. But the holidays are really difficult. And they're not only, you know, are they, they can be stressful for everyone, um, whether you have BPD or not, but, um, you know, the, the regular stress, the traffic, right? The buying the gifts, the seeing family members that you normally don't get along with. But when you have BPD or tr post-traumatic stress or complex post-traumatic stress, are you just really sensitive or you tend to get really depressed during the holidays, I think you're going to find some of the videos that I've done in the past very helpful to you. And I want to just hit some key points here. Um, just so you know, less than 10 years ago, I was in a state where I got extremely depressed and I could not stop crying when it came time for the holidays. For me, the trigger was that I didn't have a place to go. For others, the trigger may be they're going to see um, some family members who have been abusive to them, right? Um, perhaps they're going to see family members at an event where they've got no contact with. Um, perhaps you're alone, like I was. Um, perhaps you, it, it's a reminder of things that you don't have, right? It can even be a reminder of an anniversary, like, um, a trauma, right? So, um, it brings with it, right? This added level of stress, plus you're already emotionally dysregulated. You could be. I'm not saying that everyone with BPD has a rough time during the holidays, but definitely the emotions run higher and for everyone. And so um, 10 years ago, I couldn't even ask someone if I could come over to their house because I didn't have a place to go. And so instead I would just get in a cycle of crying and then that would lead to thoughts of suicide, that would lead to feelings of, of low self-worth and just that I didn't want to be around anymore, that I couldn't see any light at the end of the tunnel. And, and 10 years later, um, first I'm totally fine with spending holidays alone now, including my birthday, which I spent alone. Um, the last Christmas I spent just with my dog, uh, watching movies, having a bit of a spa day. Um, the, the last Thanksgiving I invited a friend over. And so, uh, this year, you know, I asked a client who I've become pretty friendly with, um, who's a very caring person and, you know, very, communal and and friendly and um I said hey can I can I come to your place she's like oh my god yes absolutely I was like look I'll make the turkey even right but I wasn't even able to do that 10 years ago and I share that with you so that you can see that improvements do happen and you can lasso in and control and whoosh, tame those emotions especially those really hurtful you know maybe you were a kid that uh, had two parents who were separated or divorced and you got bounced around between holidays and and you know maybe like gift giving became like a competition between two parents right and so even just that itself was difficult I don't get triggered by that anymore and you know there's some reasons for that as well like I'm no contact with my family but um, if you are feeling more stressed lately, if you are feeling um, more on edge and you're not sure why, if you're feeling more isolated, if you are feeling more sad, it could be because of the holidays. And I want you to um, just keep these tips in mind. One, you can ask to go to someone's event. You can start that event, you know, find some other people, maybe, you know, I mean, there's plenty of people that I know in my apartment building that don't have a place to go, or, you know, maybe their boyfriends or girlfriends work, you know, jobs like police or fire where they're not going to be home for that holiday, you know, and have your own Friendsgiving, right? Have a movie marathon, right? Like, you know, um, I love watching Bad Santa around the holidays. I love watching Elf, you know, what are you doing over there? She is having a ball. 
um, you can volunteer, right? And so in, in some of these videos I've done, one that I did was 10 ways that you can spend the holidays non-traditionally. And then I've also done a few other videos that really help target kind of the anxiousness that comes with, um, with dealing with those and, and tips to get you through it. I just want you to know that I used to be in a place where it literally made me physically ill and I could not even enjoy the holidays. And now I'm in a place where I enjoy it. And, you know, I lost my ideas of what the holidays had to look like, right? 10 people around a circular wooden table, right? Like lots of trim and trimmings and presents under the tree. You know, that's an illusion, I think, for most people. I mean, I think the only place that I generally see that is on the Hallmark Channel. So, um, I've hope I've hope this has been somewhat helpful. I want you to have a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, something that's also helped me is to think about things that I have been grateful for, you know, during the past year. And I've definitely been grateful for you, for this community, for the ability to have this platform and speak to you. You know, you think that I'm just making videos for you, but you know, you're you're giving me feedback, which gives me something, you know? I never profess to have all the answers. I never profess to say that, you know, I don't have, you know, some of those ineffective behaviors come up, but, you know, progression isn't always linear. My name is Jen, you've been watching BPD Woman. Check out the links that I have uh, scattered throughout this video. And until I see you next time, please have a happy Thanksgiving. I'll be back next week uh, with some more new content. Um, but until that time, um, between now and then, please enjoy the videos that I've previously done. Bye-bye.